for me, the irony of my life is I read these books that came from all over the world that somehow landed on my lap on this First Nations community in central Ontario. And I remember thinking, wow, wouldn't it be cool if I could take stories from my little community and send them out all over the world? And lo and behold, a couple decades later, I actually managed to do this somehow, which was very, very hard for me. Because I, I was 16 when I made the decision. I wanted to be a writer. Um, I liked the fact that what, what a writer did, what writing offered me was an opportunity to control and create a universe. It offered me a chance to control things that I couldn't control in my own life. So I got to create people, places, things, environments, situations. Um, I used to make, could make people fight, kill each other, fall in love, hate each other. I could do things, I could play God without being sacrilegious. And that appealed to me. So I decided I wanted to be a writer, but I didn't know anything about writing, you know? So I decided to ask people who I thought might be able to provide me with advice for writing. So the first person I went to was my grade 11 English teacher. And I distinctly remember going in and talking with him, going to into the homeroom class, and he was sitting at his desk, and he was looking for something in the bottom left-hand drawer of his desk. And I said, sir, is it possible to make a living from creative writing? And without even looking up, he said, no, not really. And that stayed with me. No, not really. And I mean, the decades went by, and I did become somewhat of a successful writer.